Kickstery. Welcome back, everyone. Yes, sir. Bobby Kicks. It's March. March. What does that mean? Dun, 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 dun. You know what that is? <laughs> Notre Dame. Notre Dame. That gets me hype. Off of, off you college. like Notre Dame? Is that your team? No, no, no. Just that 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 rally song. That, that just, is. That, it's very know? collegiate. It's very like. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. And here's the thing. I'm a fake March Madness guy because I don't have an affiliation with teams. Do you? I do actually. Back What's in the '97, man, it was Arizona Wildcats. That makes sense. That like, makes sense. You know, they won a championship, I, I, so I'm fake. I like Georgetown one year. I like in North Carolina one year. I went to a D3 college, so I don't have that. Like, yeah, same here. I didn't really. I didn't experience right? the same university yeah. life and stuff like that. But I did appreciate it growing up. Yeah, yeah. And you know, and for me, um, my college was near Syracuse, like 15, 20 minutes from oh, Syracuse. And my 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 senior year, Mello won a championship. Right, so that was cool, but I'm still I don't have that affinity to that college, but I've called myself a fake college fan once again. UNC was always a team that I you know liked as well too because for Michael obvious Jordan, reason the goat the goat you know UNC Vince True. Carter you know, he was awesome too. So there were some cool teams out there. The uniforms, honestly, a lot of the uh, the uh, the jerseys were super awesome. Yeah, you know yeah. So that was one angle like. How I, I t- you know, how I connected with the... Uh, so you US attached, to, like, the jerseys with the kicks, and you made, you of blended course. it all together. Of yeah, course, of course. You know what? That's a good point, man, because there's been some legendary college jerseys, man. Georgetown. Oof. With a nice little, like, like geometric nice little print, the gray and the blues. We call that the, the big G. We call you know? that the Kente cloth vibe. That's okay. the Kente cloth okay. vibe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man. The pattern, right? right yeah, right. yeah. And North Carolina with the little Tar Heels on the side, that little... It was the Argyle. Argyle. The Argyle. You know, the Argyle. So, yeah, stuff like Ooh. that. It, it was very different than the yeah. NBA. So, it was nice. I actually had some UNC uh, gear. Uh, um, um, Me too. Yeah. Because of the... You know, so different than the NBA gear. Yeah. Like the championship jerseys, you know? So, it was different. Like, you know, kind of mix it up, you know? Yeah, So, that's my... Appreciation growing up in the you know in, in in the nineties with all the gear you know coming up right yeah yeah but going back to ninety seven Wildcats I see Mike Bibby I see all those guys man like winning the championship and I see mm. yeah I see the phones and stuff like that so basically what we're covering mm-hmm. is March Madness UNC or I'm sorry uh, March Madness Final Four Final Four and that whole excitement behind the kicks during that time the, those and, iconic moments and, and this this got this is is not everything it's no, so no. many iconic moments right okay. but this is some good glimpses of like what really really like impacted us yeah you know what I'm saying and and I went right here because as soon as you saw now most people do penny yeah I go Mike Bibby yeah <laughs> you so know what I'm saying basically the story is Mike Bibby debuted these yeah you know for the first time yeah to the public on court and and these this Nike Air Phone Posit One, My yeah, bad. which is kind of crazy because I mean, if you it, there is a logo on the back with the Air Penny, mm-hmm, right, mm-hmm. or you know, the Penny symbol, in other words. Yep. You know, is it a signature shoe? It's like I don't know. It's up in the air. You know what I'm saying about that whole thing? Sneaky. I don't know. I don't Sneaky. know. I, I consider these a signature shoe. I consider them a yeah. signature shoe. But like I you said, you know what? I mean, good point. Any any sneaker that has a logo a on a sneaker, or yeah, you don't gotta say it's a signature, but yeah, yeah. you're right. I but, feel you. I mean, but there's people that say the you know the opposite. They say mm-hmm. no, they're saying because uh, there's an air penny one. Yeah, right. There's an air penny one. But I mean, going back to my baby and this whole debut on that 1997 Arizona Wildcats, mm. that whole squad. Had some awesome gear. Miles, Miles, Miles Simon. Miles Simon. Yeah. Those are, you know, some of the uh, players that, during that, you know, that lineup. Yeah. But, I mean, going back to this whole shoe, Mike Bibby, all right, Nike said, hey, we want you to try these out. You know, we want you to, you know, you know so, you so, 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 all right, so Mike Bibby, so what's that, like, Mike Bibby, wasn't they going to, like, Nike campus or something like yeah. that? Like, yeah, yeah. What? So, yeah, they basically get invi- got invited to the Oregon headquarters to okay. basically show them prototypes. In, in Beaverton, yep, yeah. yep. Show, you know, show them prototypes. Hey, this is what we have right here. We yep. want you to try this, try this out, you know. That's they tough. actually, from what I heard, they got a glimpse of this colorway okay. and the pearl white ones, which are basically Tim the Duncan's, pros. right? The pros, the, yeah, yeah. the pros with the Nike swoosh on them. Yep, yep, right? close, close, close. So they got, they got access to those prototypes, you know. <laughs> and if you remember, if you look online, too, the Jason kids were worn, too, yep. by... by uh, Jason Terry? It wasn't Jason Terry. It was another player. I have to look it up. But okay. Anyways, you had no. Uh, Jason Terry. You had these shoes. You had the up tempos. You had the. Miles uh, Simon wore the up tempos, the black and silver ones, right? Black and silver like ones. Like the Scottie Pippen ones, exactly right? right. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Exactly. Scottie Pippen wore that colorway too. Right. Uh, before the big airs. Yeah. But honestly, like, if you really think back on like the NCAA and March Madness time, like, the, that's some really badass players that wore some cool shoes. I mean, I mean, I haven't seen anything lately. 
in the same light. I'm sure there is. It's but not back the same. The day, it's, it's not the same. It's different, obviously. You know, yeah. and, and, and think about it. Like, like we live in the era of like the NIL, like like players getting paid, right? Players getting paid, things of that nature. You know, that's big taboo. Uh, but just put yourself back in college. Think you, you know, between 18 and 21, right? If you're Mike Bibby, you're going to Beaverton, you're going to Nike campus, and they showing you prototypes, and you get to take something and debut. Mike Bibby debuted these before Penny. I know. I remember. I remember being stuck to the TV, CBS, right? Uh, uh, the the championship game, yeah. and I'm like, what the hell is that on my yeah. baby feet? Shiny <laughs> blue, like that blue just popped, dude. So all eyes were on him. It's yeah. like, what? And honestly, like this design, dude. Like I know we talked about this before. Even you know, I'm sure you've seen this online and so on. But look at this shoe, 1997. Yeah, they, Nike experimented with a with a with with a uh, unibody. One, yeah, it's yeah, just one. That was actually mold. that's the yeah. That's correct me if I'm wrong. That's the first sneaker to have no midsole. There's no midsole. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, you're there, right. There's there's <laughs> no midsole. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah. So I remember this came out with me when I was in high school, and it was this dude named Raymond had him. I was like, and they were 180. I was like, 180, 190, what? Yeah, 190. Like was, yeah. that was shocking. Yeah. You know, but then I was like, there's no midsole. Where the hell is the midsole? Very crazy to look at because you expect the, the shoe freak? and you see like the top, the Word. middle, and then the bottom. Word. Right, and then this was just a top and a bottom. There's no middle. And then what's this shiny, like, like what is this material? We used to suede, leather, durabuck. Like, what the hell is this? It was its own category. Come on, you know, man. Foam, you know, and, which and, is crazy. And, and we, we, we've we shown the phone positive on a couple episodes, but I think this is that iconic that, I mean, we can we can, we can can always play off of this. This is one show completely, you know, a complete show and just this shoe. But yeah. Like I said, Mike Bibby debuted these before Penny made them, you know, Put it on the map. Salute Mike Bibby. Heck Woof. yeah. I mean, and, and then after his college years, when he went into the NBA, he had a lot of great PEs through Jordan Brand. So, it, like, he had a great we could selection. We could do a Jordan Brand. Who had the best Jordan Brand PEs? And Mike Bibby's going to be up yeah. there. I'm not too, I'm not a fan of the lows, but he was really yeah. big on the lows, you know. But, yeah. but I mean, Mike Bibby definitely had some awesome gear. Yeah. Way before he came into the league, yeah. so I mean, this being one of them, and that's so crazy that he got connected with, you know, Nike. Makes I mean, sense. the team did because they were Nike. They were Nike sponsored. You know, yeah. Team. They had the Nike uniforms and so on. But Arizona Wildcats has some badass shoes, and like I said, for me, this is one of those shoes that, that really that, that resonated connect- to me because yeah. when they won. And going back to actually the NCAA in the Final Four, it's happening here in Arizona. Ooh, 2024. 2024. Yep. You know what's cool? Um, back in 2017, yeah. I actually experienced the Final Four here. That awesome. was the last time I was in Phoenix, right? And I came here. I was with my, my boys. I was out here. I um, went to two games. Um, and just the environment. We kind of had, like, exclusive access. One of, one of our college friends worked for TNT. So nice. I experienced the whole Final Four vibe. And yeah. it's a vibe, it's a vibe out here, man. So we got we got to figure out kicks to read Final yeah. Four out here, man. You know, you I know? definitely want to check them out, you know, because uh, they're, you know, they're here again. And yep. obviously they liked, you know, being here. So because it happened not too long ago. And usually yep. it's kind of spread out, right? So they came back at yep. the time. So that's going to be an awesome, you know, uh, event yep. coming up pretty soon. Phone posits. So, all right. So, so these were like a good foundational moment for you when it comes to kicks in, in, in the Final Four. I remember, yeah, yeah. I was always a fan of the Arizona Wildcats. Not so much ASU because ASU was like the Arizona team, you know, yeah. like the state, you know, but U of A was like that underdog. And then they mm-hmm. won against number one Kansas, yep. 1997. So yep. they beat them out. Yep. You know, they debuted some badass shoes, great marketing for Nike. Yeah. You know, it was just, it was a perfect win win. It was that a perfect win win, right? Yep. Well, for me, for me, and, and what really, really, and, and once again, salute to Mike Bibby. Like, salute. And those Arizona shorts, I got to find those shorts. The cats. Ooh, there, those yeah. shorts is fire. Those yeah. shorts is fire. Um, for me, what, what what changed my life, you know how I feel about these. Yeah. Right? Right? I, I But the Fab Five, the man. The Fab Five was an awesome the, team, the, too, the, yeah. the Fab Five, in, in, in a, couple, a couple of ways, right? First, hip-hop. Let's talk about hip-hop. Okay. Right? You know, I'm from New York. I always say, obviously, it's overly New York, but that's just... That's if you're from is. New York, you understand that. <laughs> you understand what I'm doing. Um, but uh, hip-hop, they, 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 they tied in hip-hop the era of, like, Onyx, Bullhead, you know what I mean? Okay. Baggy. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Sure, Baggy. Sure, you right. know, they tied that in first, right? So I was like, okay, I can relate. Hip-hop, cool. That's where I'm from. But then they were the first team I ever seen wear the same sneaker. I've never saw a team... Every single player, even on the bench, even if you're not getting burned, even if you're not playing, <laughs> you're wearing the same thing. So that threw that threw me off. I yeah. was like, wait a minute. Every single person have the same exact sneaker? Whether you're a power forward center or point guard, you're wearing the same sneaker? What is that? Yeah, that was... Think a, about that. That was very unique, yeah. What? That made definitely an impression with, with, with how... 
you see their their style on court. Come on, in college, you know, in, in uh, you know, on, in college sports. Come so, on, yeah. I'm a little kid. I'm yeah. like 11, 12 years old, right? So I'm really starting to find my fashion fashion niche. And I saw these Harachis, and I was like, "What the? What is that? Right? Another Tinker design? But you know, okay. what what is that? So that threw me off. And they wore they wore like white socks with these. I'm like, okay, everybody got white socks, Harachis. The Michigan shorts I love, and it's simple. Just yeah. ba- a baggy a nice, M. Yeah, and they had a nice bright yellow to it too. So that was a nice a yellow. Color. They had a white uniform. They had a navy blue navy uniform. Blue. Right, right. Yeah. But when they wore around like now we getting into the, the um um we getting into like the the, the college season the, the bracket March yeah, Madness now right. we getting into March Madness then they all wore all black Nike Force Max with black socks I was like come on Michigan they, they definitely had they definitely introduced a new way of like uniforms like the team setup you know because everything was very boring you know and I think they they put that that edge there you go. To, the edge. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And that's cool. Yeah. I, I remember seeing those uniforms. So I was like, I like that yellow. Yeah. That yellow just stood out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. They were, and, and they just played off of so many iconic Nikes, you know, with the Harachis, with the Air Force Max. Air Force Max. The the the, the, the Air Mastro one and twos they had. Awesome. Yeah. Right. They even went, what, you know, Jimmy King, a couple guys who wear the, the Nike Air Big Strong, the Nike Air, mm. Air Strong, you yeah. know? So they just, they played off of a bunch of dope Nikes. But that unison, mm-hmm. that cohesion, mm-hmm. you wear these with all with so- white socks, you wear black sneakers with all black, a la Michael Jordan Bulls going into the playoffs. Yep, exactly. Right? right. Those we, black socks. We know. Now we that's playoff mode, mm-hmm. right? Playoff mode. It, like right. you're going to like this Locked. different uniform, you know, like yeah. everyone's like ready to fight. No, it, it looked good. It looked great. It looked great. That, that, this particular sneaker, when... Chris Webber, Jimmy King, Jimmy Jackson, Jalen Rose. I mean, I know the whole team, right? When they wore that, I was Juwan just like, Jawan Howard. I was just like, wow. So, for me personally, how Arizona, how this, the phones connected with you, the Harachis connected with me, man. I know you speak a lot about the Harachis, man, about that, the, the Michigan team and that whole Fat Five. I know you. And, and you know what? This is a disappointing model. This is the 2023 release, right? So, and you know, you know I'm. Detail police, detail there police back there again. Detail out police, out. right? The Harachis, it's a little. The, the the sock line is small. The cut is different. Um, as as Slobby Robbie said, the 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 banana boat. They got the little banana yeah, boat. The, the banana, the way it, <laughs> banana, goes it, it goes up a little bit. Banana so, shoes. Yeah, but I'm not gonna get into detail police. But I had to throw that in there. Um, come on, Nike. We we it's need just, a true OG. Come that's on. Just the way it goes. You know, I know. it's like the retros and never get uh, no. for whatever reason. I don't know. You know, we talked about this off camera, but like. What are they doing? Like they have, they should have everything they need to, to create it, but I guess they I don't. feel like they pick and choose their battles. I guess so. Right. Whatever. I don't know. I don't know how they what the thought process is, but yeah, for sure. Michigan, Arizona. Mm-hmm. Now we go into my man AI. 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 So this is for you, man. Crossover. Heck yeah. So what? Nineteen ninety six. Georgetown Hoyas. Mm. Before Allen Iverson joined the league in the NBA, before he went to the Reeboks, he was wearing some Concords. Some, but those are not just concords. What are those? These are OGs. Come on. These are OGs. What you're looking at right here on the table, oh, and I brought these out before. I brought these out before, but these are OGs. These are from my personal collection. Uh, 1995. 95 these are original concords. 1995. And obviously, they cross over into 96 season, so that's why you see uh, Allen Iverson I mean, wear you know what? And, and then Bobby kicks fat. Wait, wait, wait. You play ball in these? No. Not oh. Not these are my casual wear, because they, they, won't, they, oh. won't, they won't hold up. They okay, won't. okay, okay. These are 1996. But you have some concords you play ball in. I have, yeah, I have the latest release ones. All right, cool, 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 cool. I have two cool, pairs of those. Cool. But, uh, look at, look at yeah, mm. I, I know the shape and everything like that. So, right now, what you're looking at here is the OG pair. Yep. Um, Jordan Warren, obviously, on court. Yep. Allen Iverson, the is on court. So, you can see online, you know, some really cool pictures of him wearing these shoes. And, 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 and imagine if he would have stuck with Nike. What kind of shoes would we want to create? That would be crazy. I mean, Reebok did okay, but Reebok lost momentum with the Iverson line, right? Like we had, we we got a big first, thing. second were awesome. Right. DMX, you know that whole, you know, Hexalite, great stuff. Yep. Answer the question, and yep. then I, and then it got kind of weird. Right. But. but but what was so dope about these? Okay, ah la, let's go back to Michigan. Every single player on Georgetown when when these when Iverson wore these, every single player wore the patent leathers. So here you go, seeing the Georgetown team. Everybody got the Concord black and whites, and they had some dope uniforms. That Kentikoff black and white the I mentioned gray, earlier. The blue. That, that gray, whole, blue. Those uniforms were awesome. They even had an alternate black one. 
If you notice, Dope. like these teams are very competitive stylistically yeah. and on the court. So they're like, all right, cool. That team is going to do this. We're going to do this. Yep. That's why, for me, I appreciated the uniforms because they had these different designs and color schemes and yep. so on that I haven't seen in the NBA. Yep. You know, comparing those two leagues, uh, the NBA were very more, they were a little bit more conservative when it comes to like the uniforms, you know, pretty straightforward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then, you know, uh, NCAA had some really cool patterns, yeah, colors. Let's, let's go like to the, the kitchen. Let's, let's know, cook up some craziness. From the top to yeah. the bottom, you know, you had the Concords, you had the Fab yeah. Five, you had, you know, Arizona experimenting with different, you know, actually Arizona, going back to them real quick, each player had a different type of shoe. Mm. So each player was trying different shoes, you know, and then compared to other teams that were a little bit more on a uniform, Arizona was like all over the place. All over the place. So it's like, you know, they had the Jason Kids, they had the Up Tempos, the Foam Posits, yeah. you know, Mastros. You had all these type of shoes Arizona was wearing. Yeah. So that was really, that's where it really got my attention with Arizona. Yeah. But yeah, Georgetown, <laughs> Allen Iverson wore these. Really, I actually have a, I have an old school uh, uh, um, basketball card of him wearing these. Yeah. On and, that and, card. and you know what? And Iverson, you know, Victor Page, Othella Harrison, Jerome Williams. I mean, I love that Georgetown team. That Georgetown team was tough. Um, uh, Allen Iverson wearing this, and he did it with some style too, right? This is this is one tattoo, Allen Iverson. This is Allen Iverson with the dark Caesar, low haircut. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, this, yeah. this is a different Iverson, right? Yeah, yeah. But this version of Iverson, when he wore these, he had these on with the little baggy shorts, but then he had a little black little ankle brace. Yeah, yeah, he did. Yeah. Right, that had little like sh- like strings attached to it. So that was even though that was. For his, it protect his ankles, yeah. but that looked dope on a, it. Did, on a it, did. it was a nice, it was a nice combination. It looked very it sporty, fashion, very, you know very. I mean? it look, he was ready to ball. He was ready to put it all, you know, on the court. So yeah. little things like that, and it's funny because you know, growing up as a kid, you always want to mimic that style. So you know, sure. wearing the wristbands, wearing sure. the headbands, you know, yeah, yeah, something yeah. to kind of bring in that extra style to your game, yeah. right? And seeing that with the ankle brace and all these different things, like just made it even like, wow, that's really cool to look at, you know? Yeah. So, Badass shoes, you know, badass yeah. shoes, Allen Iverson. Just imagine if we would have stuck with Nike, if they would have, you know. I think they were approaching him, right? Weren't they, like, approaching him? I, I think they were me? approaching him on it, but I think it came down to the must be the money. Yeah. Money yeah. talk. And Reebok had a lot of money to spend at that time. And it's crazy to think that, you know, how, where they where they were and where they, what they've become over the years. Yeah. Like they kind of lost traction. Yeah. But hopefully Shaq and Iverson now is back. As vice president of basketball operations in the Reebok, mm-hmm. you know uh, the Reebok mode. Bring back, hey guys, Reebok. You've been you've been bringing some cool sneakers back, but we need that technology. We need real hexalite, not a plastic little hexalite sticker. sticker. Yeah. Yeah. You know, we need some real hexalite. Real bring, DMX. Bring back the Sean Kemp's, the shrouds. Remember, we were just looking at the shroud. We were looking yeah. at we was looking at the old Slam magazine. Yeah, hell yeah. The Sean Kemp shrouds. Like <clears throat> Reebok has some dope yeah. sneakers, but bring them back like. Don't bring it back sometimes like Nike, respectfully. But, you know, come on, Reebok. That could be an opportunity for Reebok to bring back retros the way it actually looked like. And then you might get the attention back. Because I think a lot of people that are fans of Nike, just like you, you look at the details. If they're off, they're like, eh. Yeah. You know? So if, not, if Reebok does it right, imagine that. They might flip the game where it's like, maybe, you know. But, yeah, awesome shoe. Concords, Allen Iverson. Killed it. Georgetown killed it. Heck yeah. They killed it. Uniforms. From yeah. Head to toe, from head killed to toe. it. Killed it. And then the last thing, you know, we, we featured this and, and, and I love for twos. Um, and this is just a homage to what you mentioned earlier that uh, uh, that Carolina Blue. Yeah, the Carolina, that Carolina Blue, the Blue. alumni game. Yeah. So this wasn't necessarily a shoe that you saw during Jordan's collegiate, you know, years. But this this was made after as mm-hmm. a PE. Yeah. When Jordan was already with the NBA, and he, but he His uh, second year. Yeah, he he uh he was uh, a participant in the uh, alumni game for yep. UNC. So he wore yep. these with his old school UNC uniform and yep. these. That's a cool look. That that if imagine that was like I know, but imagine if like North Carolina players played off of that. But they was with Converse back then. There were Converse, was a Converse and Adidas, right? yeah. and, and you know yeah. Adidas. So so, but this is this one right here. Once again, is just a homage to the UNC. The UNC and UNC has some dope. They also had like some Air Strongs. I mean, Vince Carter wore some dope sneakers. Jeff Capel. I mean, um, Jeff Capel. Sorry, that's Duke. But um, but going back to like the yeah, uniforms yeah. too. The yeah. uniforms are pretty badass too. Like that, the that, Argyle design, the, the baby blue. Honestly, during that time when these came out, I never really saw baby blue anywhere else. For me, it was pretty new to me. Good point. It was really new to me, especially point, when it comes point, to like point. a sports team. Good point. Because it's good a light blue. Point, when you think of light point. blue, it looks very like kind of like kid like feminine. Good point, good I don't point. know. I don't know. But for some reason, like yeah. this, this blue, 
It worked. It, and you know what? And Jordan Brand played played off of this because they started once North Carolina officially was with Nike Jordan Brand, yeah, yeah, and when yeah. Jordan Brand took over, they started to make Carolina edition Nikes. I mean, you had the Carolina threes. That's that would true. fly, you know. They're all, exclusive for that team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, all the new Jordans that came out, what they always had a Carolina rendition, mm-hmm. edition. Excuse me. So we paying homage to just that. This is a homage to that Carolina blue, for sure. In On top day. of that, too, like more recently, you know, a lot of the you know Jordan brand actually has made like a lot of specialty shoes for like Michigan with their yeah. branding on it. You know, like the Jordan, Oklahoma, like the Jordan yeah. fives. We know. With the Michigan colors, yeah, with the, uh, the, yeah. the Michigan you know logo on of the course, back. Of course, of course. Oregon is very well known for all their Oregon like releases, right? Yep. Which are going for a high dollar right now. I'm not really familiar with it. I've just seen, I've just seen pictures. Oh, and collect- oh, oh, There's oh, heavy collectors. Oh, let me, oh, let me tell you something. I, I'm, I'm a little versed in Oregon. What Oregon did was they take like for the for example, they have the, the phone posits, right? And then they'll put like the Oregon logo, put Oregon ducks. Then the they duck, have yeah. like then they have like the Oregon like. Like bird feathers, but in 3M, so they shine. Wow. Right? Then they had like Oregon, uh, the phone posits had like a, a, a speckled sole, clear. Right? The Oregon 4s. I mean, you're right. Oregon Nike headquarters, right? So That's we, so we playing off a headquarter yeah, world, yeah. right? Nike has some, has and have some amazing Oregon PEs. It's going top dollar. Top dollar. It's crazy. I've seen the prices on that. I, I've seen collectors like specifically for yeah. like the Oregon. Lineup of shoes, right? I'm like, mm-hmm. wow, that's that's a that's a thing on its own, you know, the specific ones, you know. Yeah. UNC has some, you know, special releases too. The, yep. the UNC threes, yep. which have the North Carolina big logo yeah, just, yep. on, on on the tongue, mm-hmm. you know. Uh, no, uh, yeah, the threes. Yeah, threes. Yep, threes. You know, yeah, uh, fives or blue. They even make uh, uh, editions where they have editions that have the team logo on it, exclusive to the team. Okay, yeah, exactly. And, right. and then they just have like the team logo, which is like a Jordan team quality inspired by the true, greatest per- true, player ever, true, right? So true. Nike is really profiting and benefiting yeah. off of these college teams, right? Making it real iconic too. Well, they see how much hype the March Madness brings. Honestly, like the collegiate basketball is pretty exciting to watch. It is. It's very exciting to watch. It it's is. different than the NBA action. You know what I'm saying? Passion. So, like it's just, you literally see like students get on the court after yeah, a win. Like you crazy. don't see that in the NBA, man. Go imagine crazy. that. That's all right. But yeah, it's crazy. cool to see that. And I see... And I've noticed that, you know, brands are really paying attention to that. So what do they do? They give them the shoes to really, because yep. they're going to be on center stage. Yep. A lot of fans, a lot of, you know, uh, a lot of eyes on these, you know, uh, kids playing in yep. college, you know, yep. and, you know, and you're seeing some really awesome shoes. So, yeah. of course, they're going to make them exclusive, get them of all course. excited get them about excited. the get them new release and so on. But, I mean, great stuff when it comes to like the what you see on, you know. Uh, yeah, NCAA. man. Yeah, man. I, I, I think we, we did a good job, you know, of, of highlighting it. And guys. Click the comments. I know we're missing some sneakers. I know we're missing oh, yeah, probably some so some colleges stuff. that has some. Engage with us. Talk to us on, on Instagram. What's your Talk favorite to us on YouTube. One? Yeah. yeah, what's, what's your, your favorite one? one? What's your favorite one? What's your favorite one? Currently? Yeah. Or in the past? And back in the day. For me, I'm always going to lean towards the past because... Yeah, Jeez, look, look what we have. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Like, that's I mean, your thing. Yeah, heck yeah. You know, that's just to me like it just and and and, and the past, the past helps the present and future. You know, so we 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 have to tell that kick story, man. We have to tell this kick story to to viewers that are unaware. Of, yeah, yeah, hey, yeah. this is the why behind exactly it. Exactly right. And yeah. viewers that do know. You know, like oh, and I remember start researching, that. D- start researching, start diving yeah, into that because yeah, you'll, yeah, yeah. you'll you'll see why the shoes are popular you know yeah, not just yeah. because of you know let's say jordan wore these but alan iverson wore them. just like that that picture of him yeah. wearing these it's like man that's just a cool look yeah for you real know? for real and then mike bibby wearing those you know it's just those moments for me those pictures really speak that highly on that moment for you know? sure and it's for really sure. special to me so for sure um but yeah going yeah, back man. to arizona i'm excited for them to come down here awesome stuff ncaa NCAA March 2024 Madness, final four it's gonna be in glendale yep. still considered you know phoenix but yep Great time! I'm gonna be watching, and yeah. you, you know what? We're 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 gonna we're gonna have uh, some 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 kicks to be lives. We're gonna figure some kicks to be lives yeah, yeah, out yeah. during that time. Yeah. You it's know what I'm saying? And, yeah, yeah. and and see what other sneakerheads and and and, and kick storians are out there in, in the area, right? And just get that feel. You know what was what's your favorite college moment? You know I things am, that nature. It's gonna be I fun. am curious to see what they're gonna be doing to really highlight the fashion part. Cause the NBA does that, right? Yeah. The NBA does that whole like like runway type of thing. You yeah. Know? I haven't seen much from the NCAA, but I mean seeing that they're doing more and more like specialty stuff, I, I 
I could see that being. You know what? Thing. Now that college players could get paid in IL, right? There you go. Right, and yeah. and, and I know right now we're facing some some type of controversy. Um, I'm not real in depth or, or, or versed in what's happening with the NIL controversy, but I know players are getting paid. Um, um, I I can see brands playing off that. Like, okay, let's have team shops. You know, 2017 that wasn't the case when I went for Final Four out here. That wasn't the case, but now it's a different era. People getting paid. Yeah, likeliness, things of that nature. So. What's well, crazy, man? Like, what do you think about that whole thing? Like, what's your I love thing? it. Yeah, I always thought it they should get paid. It makes sense. The university has profited off of players. Come on, now. likeness and you know, come play, on, because that's that's all that, forms. That, that, that's a big thing. That's in a big all thing. forms, when yeah. it comes to sneakers, apparel, video games, it's time for the players to get yeah. a little money, yeah. right? Which which video games are sure that's true, right? 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 Which could affect professional, right? Because now these players are like, instead of leaving in year one, year that's two, true. they're going to stay out throughout the four years. Like, you know what? Let me say four years because now my money is. Better is more, more, uh, 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 more abundant than a rookie contract. Would that diminish the game? I don't know. That's maybe uh-huh. another topic for another time. But that's just interesting to think about because you know, like I said, you know, March Madness is coming up very soon, and I'm very Kick, excited. Kicks TV will be present for March Madness. Um, uh, looking forward to it, man. It's, it's going to be beautiful weather in Arizona too, okay. right? It's going to be in like the 80s. I'm going to be, it. I'm going to be paying attention more on what they're wearing on court. Oh yeah. I'm sure you're going to see some retros, too. You're going to see yeah. current, current shoes or current performance yeah. and retros. You know what's cool? So every single March Madness is always a random college, random player will bring a throwback. You're like, oh, you know, it, you don't. I don't follow it religiously. I don't have a team, right? So, so um, but I remember seeing March Madness. It's like, oh, this boy, this dude brought back the KD2s. Or like, you know, yeah, it's, like, you it's like some yeah, yeah. randomness. So you're going to see some randoms, man. Yeah. That's one thing I do appreciate about the NCAA is that a lot of times, like, the underdog might come up. Yeah, yeah. You know, it, it's very like unexpe- uh, uh, unexpected. You know, for sure, for sure. So for that's sure. really cool to watch. But yeah, for sure. I'm excited to watch it, and that's pretty much everything on my end, man. Let's go, man. <laughs> Let's go. Well, listen, man. Uh, this is I I I I love all our episodes. I'm biased, right? But I I, I love this because this is like the energy, just that youth energy, just yeah. that college. Dun, 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 dun. We're bringing that back. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Kickstarter style. Awesome, man. All well, right. Until the next time, we'll uh we'll leave it there. Thank you for tuning in, guys. Peace. Thank you for watching this episode of Kickstory. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any episodes. And stay connected with us on Instagram and these podcast platforms listed here. We also want to hear from you. So make sure to comment below and give us your thoughts. Thanks again for your support, and we'll see you next time.